video. So I want to come to you and talk to you about the documentary about Bill Cosby that's on Showtime right now. Uh, I recently watched it and if I had to describe an overall I guess assessment or feeling or thoughts that I walk away from with the documentary um, was how so many people felt like they didn't know him and they got bamboozled by him and I don't mean they didn't know him in the sense of hey do you know Karen and then you say oh no I don't know her I didn't know her not that way meaning they thought they knew him and then they were disappointed or they felt bamboozled by who they eventually felt like they knew him to be and that struck a chord with me because I thought do we really know celebrities like do we really know them I don't think we really know celebrities um, I think they all offer us a product that is not a bad thing um, the product they're giving is what we purchase and consume and that's how they survive and feed their families and on and on but that doesn't mean we know them um, even people that put out content on social media whether that's YouTube or TikTok or Instagram whatever it may be that's still a product and although they may not be celebrities it's still a product you're receiving you know we're not watching the Truman Show with people where there's a camera 24 7 and we see everything that they do and say constantly 24 7 non-stop then we have the opportunity to feel like we know somebody that we see on television otherwise we're getting a product some people are way more authentic in their product than others but it's still a product so i i also it also made me think about how people take in fictional characters and the actors that play those characters, we begin to believe that's the person. I think a lot of us think we know Leah Remini, who was the actress in King of Queens. We don't know her. I think we have an idea of like, this is probably her personality. That part of the character is probably how she is in real life. But we don't know her just because we may think she's a tough girl from Brooklyn. We don't know her. In the same way, Heathcliff Huxtable was a character and Bill Cosby brought himself to the character the same way Leah Remini would bring herself to a character, that still doesn't mean we know him. We don't know him. We know Heathcliff Huxtable, who was a really nice guy. We still don't know Bill Cosby. We knew Bill Cosby the comedian, meaning we saw his acts. We still don't know Bill Cosby. We weren't his family or his closest friends who lived with him. You know, maybe people who worked on stay, um, worked on the sets with him. Maybe they had a better idea of what kind of person he was in comparison to the average person that's watching the Cosby show. But we still don't know him. They couldn't fully say they know him. I'm bringing that up because this is not about whether or not the things that were alleged against him are true or not true. I do believe that people were obviously bothered by the things that were alleged, but I also think they were equally bothered or just as bothered, like right there. It was a close second that they felt bamboozled by Heathcliff Huxtable. But he and Heathcliff, that was a role he played. It's the same thing with Beyonce and Jay-Z and... Rachel Maddow and Tucker Carlson and Ted Cruz and Nancy Pelosi. We don't know these people at all. You don't know Donald Trump. I don't know Donald Trump. You don't know Barack and Michelle Obama. I don't either. You don't know Joe Biden. I don't either. We don't know these people. We're getting a product. And the reason that we don't know them is not necessarily because they're shady. Why would we know them? We're not their friends. Beyonce has given us music and entertainment, period. Anything extra is just because you want extra. You're trying to see through it and think you got extra. You ain't got no extra. You know Beyonce. You don't know Jay-Z. You like his lyrics. 
you like that he maybe raps well or whatever you like about him. You don't know him. You know, he's in Jay-Z and doing all that for the NFL is because of this. You don't even know what's in his mind because he ain't say it. And even if he say, you still don't know because people in public roles are always conscious of how they are being consumed by the public. It doesn't make them insincere, false, fake, or anything. It's what it is. It's what it is. And you may look at this person or that person and think, if it were me, I would handle things in this way. I would be this way. And maybe your way is the most authentic, enlightened way to be. And maybe if you were that successful and that much of a well-known celebrity, maybe you would handle it better. But as of right now, that's not your status. And you don't know them. <laughs> so that's like the, what I just want to make sure we really, that I'm hoping that we all take away from this moment of conversation that I'm having with you right now on YouTube is that we don't know celebrities. We don't know actors because we like them in the roles they choose. Um, and then you can take it a step further. When you think about your family members, okay, so you got, we're going to use Karen again. You got a cousin Karen. You can say Kelly if you want to. You prefer Kelly over Karen. You got a cousin Kelly. And Kelly could be unisex. So this is a girl or boy. It don't matter. Your cousin Kelly is on social media and they're posting. They got a nice following. Whatever you think nice would be for a regular person. They have a nice following. They post. You know what's up. What's really going on in Kelly's life? What Kelly posted? <laughs> Low key, you lying, Kelly. But, but that's the product that Kelly is selling. Whether Kelly's a business person and trying to get people to consume what it is that they're selling, literally. Um, or maybe it's just that social media and that's what you do on social media. You sell a product. Although the people that are seeing Kelly's social media page think XYZ about Kelly, you may know that ain't you, but that's the product they're selling. And I, I wanna say that to say, there are a lot of people in our lives and regular everyday life that we just really don't know. Like, just because you're related to somebody doesn't mean you know them. Like, I know you, you're my cousin, your name is, Kelly Marshawn Weeks, I just made up a name. <laughs> um, you, you live at 123 Main Street in your town, USA. Whatever, but that doesn't mean I know you. I may know where you live. I know your phone number. I know your mom and your daddy's name. I have an idea of you, but I really haven't spent substantive time with you consistently ever or in years. In that case, I don't really know you. That's not an ugly thing to accept and understand that concept. I think it makes things healthier when we can really step back and say, we don't really know people the way we think we do. And a part of that, a part of what makes us feel like we know people is our, is our judgment and also our stereotyping. And a part of the reason we do that is because we are looking for camaraderie. Human beings are tribal creatures in the same way, you know, dogs like to be with dogs, cats wrong with cats, you know, uh, I guess hamsters rock with hamsters, but humans like to be with their own groups. That's normal. It's really normal. We're in a modern society though, so in a modern so society, then there's a little less tribalism over smaller things, but what we're seeing is it doesn't matter how modern we get our primal human desires kind of stick around. So what that means is, if I say to you, child, hmm, I've been bought by the blood of Jesus, then you may think that means she don't believe in trans rights, she don't believe in um, gay marriage, she, try to think, she voted for Trump, she watches Fox News, Fox News. That's what someone would maybe come away thinking just because I said, I've been bought by the blood of Jesus. <laughs> okay, so if I then say, Black Lives Matter. Oh, okay, she voted for Biden. Um, she's progressive. Um, her best friend might be trans. Do you understand how we just make up 
things about people when what could be the case is someone could say I'm bought by the blood of Jesus and I believe black lives matter you know that they, they different thoughts that our society has decided are polar opposites can actually exist within one person but because we're always looking for our tribe we use little small things to decide who a person is when again we don't know these people I'll give you an example the other day, um, just recently where I live, they got rid of the mask mandates. And the majority of people, it's when we go out, it's still about the same, where the majority of the people had the masks on and a very small group don't. I mean, a very small group don't have them on. And I think it may be because people maybe don't know that the mask mandates are gone or it still feels new and they're a little nervous about jumping out there. I think when it gets warm outside, the mask gonna be gone because people gonna be hot. <laughs> so we're going in the store and I have mine on and there's a woman coming out of the store going toward her car and in her mind, we're her comrades because she has on a mask, I have on a mask. And she says, it's a mixed bag in there. A bunch of people have them on and a bunch don't have the mask on. And you know, I did the... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but she didn't know us. But she automatically made us her tribe. We're her comrades. Because we have a mask on. She doesn't know what my beliefs are about having a mask on. She doesn't have a clue. But she assumed, because I have it on, that my beliefs are X about masks. She doesn't have any idea what my beliefs are. I'm bringing that up to simply say, we don't know people the way we think we know them. We like to convince ourselves that we know people because it makes us feel safe. It makes us feel like I can predict what will probably happen if I can place this person in this category. And you honestly can't. And when you do that, you set yourself up for disappointment because you're trying to determine who a person is. Don't try to determine. Do step by step, moment by moment, who they are will show up whenever it's there, whenever that's gonna show up. Cause sometimes people hold it back, but who they are will show up when it's time for it to show up and you'll know who you're dealing with and then you can respond accordingly. For someone that's in a celebrity role, who they are will not show up because you do not know them. <laughs> if you're not in their personal everyday life, you don't know them. Beyonce's assistant could probably say she knows Beyonce, not knows Beyonce as a friend. She would know her in an employee role, which limits her knowledge of who Beyonce really is because there's not an equal relationship there. But if somebody's going to say they maybe know Beyonce, that's not Beyonce's friend or boo, it might be her assistant. But you and me who just listen to the song and think that, you know, we her cousins. We don't know her. Nope. And we didn't know Bill Cosby. We did not get bamboozled by him. We didn't get bamboozled by him. We were sold a product. We bought the product. This is how we were supposed to feel like he was America's dad because that was the product he was selling us. And we bought it. But we didn't become rational with us buying the product. We didn't say, yeah, he's like America's dad, but I don't know that man. It made me think about there was a clip in the documentary where Seinfeld was being asked about, um, you know, you can still watch his, um, meaning Bill Cosby, you can still watch his, um, his work or listen to his body of work as a comedian. And Seinfeld said, Jerry Seinfeld said, yeah, I can, the, the interviewer is saying they can't separate Bill Cosby from Bill Cosby, the comedian, and what he did from his work. And Jerry Seinfeld saying, you can? Well, I can. I think we are not able to separate the art from the artist, as an example, because I think we do buy into our beliefs about them. And if you think about it, we typically buy into celebrities as some, we, we automatically see them as really good people. Have you thought about that? It's very rare that we see a celebrity as not a good person until something maybe comes out about them that we don't agree with or that triggers us or that we don't like, whatever the case may be. It could be something egregious and it's a good reason to say, 
deuces. You got that right. You know, maybe for you it's like, I never felt like I knew Bill Cosby. But I think what he has been alleged to have done, done for me. I'm not interested in him. That's rational too. But for those of us that feel like, but I thought, I know you thought, but you don't know him. And the next celebrity that had, that hits the news that's done something, you didn't know that one either. You didn't know the one before that. And you won't know the ones to come because you just don't know them. They're selling you a product. They're selling you wholesome or they're selling you sex kitten or they're selling you um, thug that's reformed and becomes a monk. <laughs> like They're all selling you a product and you buy what you want to buy and it's okay. That doesn't mean you're getting bamboozled. You just have to stay rational in the thought that they are giving you a product. They're finding their place in the world where they can be successful. You are interested in it you're purchasing whatever that may be when i say purchasing it could be you're purchasing music or you're purchasing clothing or you're watching the show you're going to the concert whatever it might be you follow them and hit like on most things you leave a comment you share the information you talk about them with somebody and argue the person down a while about how great they are that's a part of purchasing and consuming the product that's what's supposed to happen from their end but let's not feel like we know them. They, they're not your brother, not your sister. You don't know these people at all. That's why they have publicists and all these different people around them to buffer the real them from the audience because they want to make sure they stay on target with what product they are selling. Okay, that felt kind of long-winded. So when I edit this, I might cut some pieces out because I don't want the video to be too long. But I appreciate you guys for listening and I hope you stick around and um, we can engage in more conversation about different things. Bye.